Hey everyone, Josh here. Today we're looking at the updated GS3 manual paddle. You all know and probably love the GS3 MP. It's one of the few machines on the market that offers pressure profiling in a home environment. They have modified the valve at the group head to a conical valve that allows for true pre-infusion. Uh, previous versions of the MP, you had to plumb in uh, for that line pressure to get that three, four bar uh, pre-infusion. But now the pump turns on automatically and the conical valve opens up partially, letting some water in um, and running the rest back down into the drip tray. The other main update on the GS3 manual paddle is the steam wand, which is now double wall stainless steel instead of a stainless over nylon, uh, which means it's a no burn, so you don't see any grips or handles here. But a really nice thing is it is much more efficient than the nylon no burn ones. Um, I would never normally do this, but I go all the way down here, not hot at all which is a nice fun feature, especially if you have kids in the house and you're worried about them burning themselves. It's, it's a lot safer and you don't really lose any steam pressure due to it. I mean, you guys saw. Pull a couple of shots here and you can see the pre-infusion as it works. So I'm gonna start, uh, I'm lazy, I weigh my shots, sue me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 21 on the dot, awesome. Uh, even lazier, I use a distribution tool uh, just in case, you know, the grinder dumps all the grounds in one half of the basket or if there's any clumping. Um, it also gives me a really even flat space to tamp on, which you technically don't need to do depending on how lazy of an espresso brewer you are, but I love to just give it a quick uh, flattening and polish. And you pop back in here. So, fanciest thing about the new manual paddle that I love is that it feels a lot like a throttle on a motorcycle. Um, as you come up, uh, you get the kick of the pump in, but it's currently not running any water. Uh, you go up a little more, you can hear the, the sort of whooshing sound, and that's the water running into the drip tray because the conical valve um, up here is not open enough to uh, allow any water in. You go a little bit more and you'll start to hear a hiss. Um, and the conical valve is letting water in. It's currently not doing it at any pressure. So you come up a little more. And uh, you can see the dial start to rise there. Um, so we're doing a, a light pre-infusion at three bars. Uh, you kick it up to six uh, for a, a soft, uh, softer brew. And you can go all the way up to nine uh, for a more classic shot. And then you can even come back down to Oh, I went a little long there. We're at uh, 49 grams instead of the 42 I was aiming at. I got a little excited. Uh, the manual paddle kind of does that to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's really nice is since you have all this manual control and you'll learn the, the sort of nuances of the machine that you're using it on, um, you'll be able to recreate shots that are really common on other machines. Uh, my favorite example is a La Pavone shot. So on a lever machine, uh, when you pull up and you pull down on the handle, um, you vary the, the pressure since you are the pump, um, and you can use this to sort of recreate what the taste of a La Pavone machine will give you. It's, it gives you so much more control over a, over a flat nine zero uh, that you get on non-manual uh, paddle machines, and uh, you really get to play with you know, your output. Yeah, definitely pulled a little long. Uh, but not bad considering. Uh, it's a really forgiving machine, uh, all things being said. So that's it for the new updates on the GS3 MP. If you liked what you saw today, please subscribe and I'll see you all next time.